uh, Som, uh, Som Prakash. Um, so in this channel, we all talk about uh, creating wealth and making money. I am a wealth coach. And uh, so today we are excited about uh, this topic, um, which is owning versus controlling. Okay. So I just wanted to quote here uh, um, by Nelson Rockefeller. Um, those of you who do not know, uh, you know, Mr. Rockefeller, he's uh, Nelson Rockefeller was the one. Who had this famous uh, statement he said that secret to success um, is to own nothing but control everything so we'll just elaborate on this one but uh, just to let you know wh who Nelson Rockefeller was who uh, if you do not know he was the vice president of the United States um, um, and but he's very well known uh, for uh, their sort of Rockefeller family he belongs to that family which is one of the uh, richest uh, wealthiest families in the whole world and he's the grandson, one of the grandsons of um, uh, John John Rockefeller, who was America's first billionaire. Um, I think uh, I read somewhere that had he been alive now, his worth, um, uh, as per the sort of uh, you know inflation adjusted, uh, you know, uh, his worth would be close to five hundred billion dollars. His personal wealth. Um, so that's how rich he was. Um, during that time and I think uh, you know he created all his wealth and a lot of uh, money through um, uh, oil refinery and uh, you know I think uh, the current day Chevron and uh, Exxon you know, these are part of uh, you know his the company Standard Oil which he uh, started uh, you know in the 80s sorry 18th uh, sorry 19th century early 19th century I guess uh, uh, 1836 or something like that okay so uh, this statement uh, the secret to success is to own nothing but control everything uh, this is a picture of uh, you know rockefeller tower if you haven't uh, been to that um, you know uh, that is an observatory as well you can see and uh, that's in the new york city and uh, you can go and uh, you know visit it's a huge uh, monumental sort of uh, you know um, building uh, you can go and see and as a matter of fact they say that um, you know uh, donald trump the current president was highly influenced um, you know by uh, by John John Rockefeller um, and uh, so yeah I think uh, the Trump family they also created a lot of wealth uh, in real estate and the um, Rockefeller family as well they were into real estate as well okay so let's uh, move on then uh, what does he mean and you know in the current context uh, what uh, you know is um, what does it uh, exactly mean about owning and controlling? I'll give you a big, very good examples um, of uh, you know what it means uh, in the current context and when he said Nelson Rockefeller when he said uh, you know in I think in uh, 1970 75 or 76 uh, and he said that so what did he mean as well okay so we'll uh, quickly uh, explore that so <sighs> Let's talk about some of the huge companies who are controlling a lot of stuff, controlling a lot of assets, but they do not own assets. Okay, let's take the example of Airbnb. Okay, they control a lot of um, you know houses and apartment. Uh, you know, um, how do they control? That means uh, you know um, the owner is different. Um, so you can be a owner of a house or an apartment block, and uh, you can put it on Airbnb or booking.com and uh, you know you can um, uh, let it out to to others and uh, so they control a lot of booking and uh, you know um, that means uh, you know revenue is going through them and all the bookings are going through them but they don't own those those buildings um, as you know uber okay they are you know world's kind of uh, biggest taxi company without uh, owning a single taxi so they leverage other people's asset uh, which is uh, uh, the cars um, and uh, they just created a platform okay so they control the bookings and the revenue generation uh, through those assets but uh, they do not uh, own those assets uh, like all those cars do they they don't own those okay amazon you know trillion dollar company what do they own well uh, whatever we buy from amazon uh, this is not exactly manufactured uh, in the in, in amazon factory or they don't own any factories um they may be owning some uh, sort of uh, warehouses but uh, they are not the owner of all those products so product ownership with somebody else and they are just the facilitator and uh, they facilitate the supply of the products and the revenue generation um, okay so that means uh, the the stock is owned by somebody else the asset okay you know is owned by somebody else but amazon uh, uh, controls the revenue generation and uh, 
uh, let's take the example of Netflix as well you know it's kind of world's uh, biggest uh, media company you can say okay and they do not have their own uh, studio okay and they leverage um, you know the uh, the productions and uh, the movies and uh, you know all the documentaries of uh, you know other other production companies and uh, you know they are just the facilitator that means uh, they control the revenue generation and then they pay but um, but uh, they don't own it okay so now the example could be so many you know uh, they are in current day term they call um, these companies are called the aggregator okay so they don't own but they control substantially huge volume of transactions or revenue uh, you know through their platforms now let's talk about uh, you know what um, you know in the in the business term or the or let's talk about the property term um, if you are in the real estate business then how can you create uh, wealth um, without owning but controlling okay that's the best strategy would be for you to go for a strategy called rent to rent okay so that means uh, you can be the facilitator okay um, somebody else uh, gives you the property on rent and then uh, you know you you just um, put it on Airbnb or you you know just, just manage that property yourself and manage the bookings and uh, you know uh, lorry as a service accommodation or a HMO and uh, you know you can create that revenue out of it okay so you don't have to own it okay now however if you are owning a property okay um, as a matter of fact uh, I guess uh, when um rockefeller uh, you know gave that statement that uh, you know uh, you don't own anything but you should be controlling everything what he meant uh, during that time when these companies were not there i guess uh, ownership in uh, if you are owning any real estate uh, you know or any any sort of assets okay or any businesses it should not be in your own name okay so that means what so you should have it in your company's name or a limited liability partnership uh, you know name or you can create your own trust okay that's where most of the wealthy people in this world uh, they uh, keep their wealth within the family without paying a huge inheritance tax uh, you know or capital gain tax um, by structuring the ownership of this property through um, you know uh, other legal entities like a like a company or LLP or a trust and sometimes you'll see that uh, these trust um, or the companies are in tax havens, you know, like, like where the um, you know double taxation agreement or, uh, the country may have with another another company or uh, you know uh, sorry another country or a jurisdiction. And a lot of time, you know, these uh, companies are set up or the trust are set up in another um, jurisdiction, okay, where you can gain the tax advantage of of that uh, of that uh, you know location so uh, this is briefly about uh, you know controlling versus owning so that means uh, the in thing okay and uh, you know which does not require a lot of investment okay to get started uh, into your own uh, you know wealth creation strategies it doesn't ha you don't have to own it so that means owning is something which probably is outdated now so you should be controlling um, you know the assets of others but you should not be or you should rather if you are owning it as well you should be owning it uh, in uh, you know not in your own name but in other establishment or a company's name or a trust name so that you know your wealth can be passed on to the next generations okay hope uh, it made some sense and whatever the learning again i passed it on and please feel free to comment and uh, you know if uh, you have got any suggestions any ideas or any thoughts on this video please feel free i will speak to you then until the next video over and now